I'm looking at you through the glass Don't know how much time has passed Oh God, it feels like forever But no one ever tells you that forever feels like home Sitting all alone inside your head I just had your mother fill that prescription last week, Jaden. Unless you've been taking too many, trying to overdose. Other than that, you should still have some left. Alright, don't tell me. I'm only your therapist, and I get paid to hear your problems. But that's okay, you ain't got to say nothing to me. What's the big deal? What's the big deal, Jaden? Medicine's for you and only you. You're sick. But I guess it sounds more appealing to you to give them to your friends to get high instead of taking them for yourself to get better, right? So your parents have been telling me that you've been acting very secretive over the last few months. Is there something you're not telling me? I mean, we see each other three times a week. There shouldn't be any secrets here. My mom read my journal not too long ago. She didn't like what she read. What did she read? Was it bad? Life-threatening? No. When something like a soul becomes initialized And folded up like paper dolls and little notes You can't expect a bit of folks So while you're outside looking in Describing what you see Remember what you're staring at is me Cause I'm looking at you through the glass Jade, you understand I have a patient confidentiality code that I have to follow. I keep a lot of what you say to myself unless it's life threatening. I thought you told my parents everything. No, only things that conflict with your well being. Such as self mutilation, drug abuse, loss of suicide, and attempts at suicide. But your personal life stays close. You trust me enough to share it with me, but your parents don't always need to know that. I saw the most beautiful girl today outside of my house. She pulled up outside of my fence and smiled at me. I tried to ignore her because I'm shy, but she came up to me. Her name is Hazel, she said. But I never thought that I could say I believed in love at first sight, but I felt that way with her. Anything was possible. At my house, we spent the day just being ourselves, playing like kids. It was the first time something felt right in my life, and it wasn't because of medication. She saw my scars and my medicine and told me that I didn't need it anymore. Not while I was with her. No one knows that it feels like forever. But no one ever tells you that forever feels like home. Sitting all alone inside your She threw out all the medication. I didn't mind at first because I hate taking these pills. I hate having people think I'm crazy. I hate being alone. Now I'm not alone. I have her, my Hazel. So you met a girl in November. So you met a girl in November, fell in love, kept her secret from me and your parents, and lied about what happened to your medicine. Is that about right? Do you want to know the truth as to why I'm out of pills, why I haven't taken them, and what is going on? Yes, I would like that very much. Hazel is sick, really sick. The doctor keeps telling her that she is fine, but I know better. Her mother told me that she might not live much longer. They didn't have money to pay for the doctor bill or a pharmacy. Besides, since she started throwing my meds out, that I didn't need them. Every day I go and see her, and she looks worse each day. Every day she asks me if she's going to die, and I say no. She'll be fine. All I want inside your head.